Samonding is saying, uh, let's let's address this because it's going to come up, right? And we should we need to address it. We talked about it a little bit. We talked about it when it first happened, which was the Ukraine uh, incursion uh, invasion, incursion, NATO incursion, NATO invasion of Russia. I don't know. How do you want to say it? Uh, Ukraine's retaliation. Uh, Ukraine. Uh, I don't know. There's multiple ways you could say it, depending on where you're from and what you're watching, uh, what news agency you're watching, or where you're getting the news and what information you know, right? Uh, but basically, Ukrainians with NATO allies, because there are NATO allies in there, NATO armed, entering Russia in Kursk, right? As soon as we light the cigar, the wasp should go, oh, fire, I'm out. Uh, in Kursk. Ukrainians, uh, Samsung says the Ukraine army is in Kursk, Russia now. The Ukrainian army, the anywhere between 10 to 20,000 Ukrainians that entered Kursk, uh, 90 plus percent of them will die in Kursk. Okay, so what your Ukrainian Ukrainian army did was basically because of orders given by NATO and the Ukrainian leadership puppets in power in Ukraine, the ones that have siphoned off hundreds of millions of dollars from hundreds of billions of dollars that has been given to them right Zelensky is uh, his net worth is like 600 million dollars now right on orders of that the Ukrainian leadership puppets and NATO ordered 10 to 20,000 Ukrainians to enter a cauldron which is what Russia was calling has been using to annihilate the Ukrainian military they told them to enter a cauldron and now they have been they're out of fuel their electronic jamming system is done their communication is done they're scattered they're digging in and they're going to be annihilated so they sacrificed themselves in a russian cauldron russia didn't even have to build a cauldron around them to annihilate them they willingly went in there right i i really don't understand who in their right mind is fighting on the side of ukraine like why would you willingly sacrifice your life for the for the enrichment of ukrainian leadership and nato I, it, it's just mind-boggling to me hey gang we need another 10 15 thousand of you to die for us to get a few hundred more million can you go inside this cauldron this russian territory and try to get get to the nuclear power plant as fast as you can because that's the only way you'll be able to stay alive we'll trade your lives for this we'll try to do something and if you don't get there you're dead thank you for your patriotism what insanity who in their right mind signs up for this suicide mission? It is crazy to me. It's crazy to me. And the spin that Western media puts on it is insane, right? So Ukraine, go, NATO really, goes into Kursk, invading Russia. Russia, a country that spans 11 time zones. And do you think Russia, aside from saying, you Bockers, like we're trying to, t and this is at a time where they're Ukraine, NATO, United States, they've all been talking about peace. We want peace. It's the same way that Israel, we want peace, but they change the terms all the time and they assassinate uh, the top uh, peace negotiators in Hamas. It all over the place, right? In Iran, they assassinate him, in Lebanon, they assassinate him, they kill him in God. So while they're assassinating committing genocide they're saying we want peace it's like the movie mars attacks where the marsans come down and the translator the universal translator that humans build you know are translating martians going around blowing shit up and killing 
everybody zapping them and the martians the, the only thing they're saying is we come in peace we come in peace don't run away don't run away right some kind of bad movie mars attacks was a great movie by the way mars attacks was a phenomenal movie especially when tom jones came out and he's singing and the birds are chirping landing on him and the deers are coming around a fantastic movie this movie that we're witnessing right now this farce is a bloody disaster half a million ukraine minimum now half a million ukrainians dead for what for what for something that they could have had peace they could have had peace nobody had to die not a single person had to die in ukraine and nato pushed it rfk jr said it in his speech right two nights ago last night two nights ago right came out and said this war was instigated by the west by nato he mentioned Miss minsk he even made a mistake he he only mentioned minsk once there was minsk one and two okay and then there was the negotiations in turkey right he you know he's, he's not great on geopolitics especially middle east but he at least knows that how is it possible that corporate western media still doesn't know this which they do if they don't two two brain cells right they're spewing this garbage right no one that no one with a half an ounce of a like seriously half a brain believes them anymore you gotta be one of the lowest iq red rats that ever lived in human history to still propagate western propaganda now believe it right that's where we are that's where we are they want money they're man that's another average 15,000 ukrainians and poles and romanians and french dead right they're going to become fertilizer for the crops that russia is going to grow there salute stupid and unnecessary war salman says on twitch indeed